Do you want to know what makes love grow? What makes love grow? It's half of your deen, said the prophet, peace be on him. Half of your deen. It's part of Islam, increase in your iman. Half of our deen. Half our deen. Half our None of us were ever asked which country would you like to be born in, but yet so many of us take so much pride because we were born in a specific country, even though they themselves have nothing to do with the action. So how can we be so proud of an accomplishment that's not really an accomplishment? All this nationalism pride, it doesn't even make sense to me. Iran! Pakistan Zandabar! Yani we are Arab. God bless America! And nobody else. For some people, the passion they feel about their country is so strong, they think it's the ultimate bond that bonds them together. Now, if you don't know about Islam, I can understand being nationalistic because of that internal instinct of connecting with other people. What I don't get are the people who have the bond of Islam, but yet they put their countries before their religion. The awkward situation comes when you meet one of these nationalistic guys. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Wa alaikum salam, I'm doing good. Brother, what is your name? It's Ali. Ali? Wow, this is fantastic! My name is Ali too! Okay, that's, that's cool. Let me tell you something. You're not just my friend, but now you're like my family. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, I am new to the area. I really want to exchange phone number and get to know you. Do you mind if exchanging phone number? Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, what's your number? My friend! I like you. I, when I saw you across the room, I was like, I like him. Do you know why I like you? Because you're my friend! Okay, I still haven't got your number. What's your... Yes, of course. Uh, one small question to ask you. Where are you from again? What? Oh, I, I thought you were from my country. Oh, never mind. We can do the uh, phone number next time. It's okay. Wait, I think I see somebody might know. Hey! My friend! My friend! Where are you going? You! Yeah, you! Come here! Come here! Assalamu alaikum, brother! You're like my family! My friend! Joke! How many times have you come across people who thought they were from the same country as you, and as soon as they find out you're not from the same country, they lost all interest in talking to you? You were born where? <laughs> Sometimes people ask me where I'm from, and as soon as I tell them, they judge me and categorize me based on all the people that they know they were born from the same country as me. Even though I don't know any of these people. And I have probably nothing in common with most of these people. It's not like we're all in the same family. So when people ask me where you're from, I just say I'm Muslim. Hey, where are you from? I'm from water. Oh, I thought you were from dirt. Oh, I don't know. I guess I gotta look at the tafsir. Orale, tafsir. The whole nationalism thing causes more division than anything else. You know what the Prophet said about nationalism? He said, leave it, it's rotten. But yet we still hold on to this, and for many of us, we still make it our primary bond. Iran! Pakistan Zandabar! Yani we are Arab. God bless America! And nobody else. And this whole nationalism thing becomes very, very clear when a tragedy strikes a specific country, because if you go to the fundraiser, you'll notice that most of the people at the fundraiser are from that country. So what happened to, of being one Ummah? If we're one Ummah, then if your country is my country, and my country is your country. Just like the United States, if you go from state to state to state, the, yeah, there are borders between this state and that state, but it's all part of the United States. What happened to like the Muslim nations? We have all these lines between country and country, but yet we don't feel like we're part of one Ummah. We're like 50 Ummahs, 70 Ummahs. What happened? What happened? To me it's so odd how the terms Indian Masjid, Pakistani Masjid, Arab Masjid, Turkish Masjid became all normal terms and no one thinks twice about it. The reality is there's no Turkish, Arab, Pakistani, Indian or whatever country Masjid because all these massages belong to one and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unfortunately we do have politics within some massages that people are trying to run for leadership and the people who are voting for him are basically people from his country. So it's this country versus this country. I personally stay away from mustard politics because I have no interest in helping one regime overthrow another. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in coups. No thanks. These coups are often not what's best for the community, but rather one leader that wants to take over another leader's position because of his country wants to rule the other guy's country. But no one's ruling anyone. They're all in this fantasy world that I want to be the president. But don't worry, all the clouds aren't dark. There's actually a silver lining to all this. There are Muslims within the Muslim community that care more about Islam than their countries. 
who don't let the country they were born in choose their friends or who they're going to hang out with. These people are attracted to good deeds and their bond is Islam, not their country. And this is why their friends and companions will be from different races, different colors, different backgrounds, and different countries. There'll be those of us who will bond based on our countries. And there'll be those of us who will bond based on our deen. You've been given the free will to choose, but at the end, there's only one right choice. So choose wisely. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. My friend! My friend! You know why I like you? Because you're my friend! Because you are my friend!